Um, hey everybody, it's Chan Chai, and it's been a while. Uh, this is, we're already into March 2023. It's been a long time since I've done a video, I think about a video on arcade parts. So thank you all for your patience. Um, I've been, uh, you know, I kind of retired from restaurant ownership. And along with that, I kind of, you know, kind of been doing some part-time work um, that pays well. And I've also been doing some restaurant consulting for other restaurants. Um, I've had some free time, but actually, you know, we're doing house projects and kind of been a house husband. So, you know, um, you can get some idea if you watch Way of the House Husband, though that's not exactly my life. But um, yeah, it's been fun, but it's also kept me busy. It's kept me occupied. And frankly, uh, my my house hasn't really been ready my rooms haven't been ready for for presentation of uh, you know unboxings and whatnot and first impressions and reviews. So that's kind of why I haven't been doing them lately. But I do intend to do them. I've got a huge mountain of gear that I want to go through, play around with, and um, you know even uh, really make them uh, parts of my collection and enjoy them and share them with others. Um, that said, uh, this first project, um, this first one that I'm going to open today, uh, it is timed for a year ago. I made a video about the about Nth Creations and their amazing um, arcade sticks. I got another one, and actually, I owe Nth Creations an apology because I got this like five months ago, about four months ago, and um, I just been busy. I just explained why I've been busy, but. Um, but I have been doing some training for VF because I am going to Evo Japan. And two weeks ago, I went to New York to train. Um, and that was awesome. So I am still active with VF and I am still following along with arcade parts. It's still a, a, an obsession of mine. Um, we'll just add Marvel Snap to, to my obsessions lately. So Virtua Fighter, arcade parts, Marvel Snap is kind of what I'm into right now. Um, the arcade part is just more that my my rooms have not been ready. Um, not that I have the nicest setups, but um, but I've just you know we were managing guests, we were managing different projects in the home, so just things got boxed up, things got moved around, and suddenly I don't know where half my tools are. <laughs> so, um, anyways, we have Nth, uh, Nth Creations um, N E A S. So I think that's like the new uh, Nth arcade stick. Um, and we're going to take a look at it. So, um, now Ent has, there's been a, quite a few updates about Ent since the last time I made a video. The last time I made a video about Ent, um, I had received the buttons from them and there was also the Valero board, you know, and they were, they're really cool. Uh, they are on the loud side, but that makes them really, the feeling is great on them. Uh, they, th the first editions, the one I got were the first editions and they were really, um, excellent for, um, especially if you're playing like at home and stuff like that, or if you're playing online, right? Um, for my needs, uh, I do like a more quiet button for competition, but that doesn't mean that's the only buttons I like because I love loud, clicky buttons. I love the tactility. I love the sound. So I have setups for that. And my nth creations are kind of, my nth creation sticks are kind of for that. They're also for enjoying basically Sanwa type of sticks, especially. And uh, let's get into this one. So let's take a look at the new NEAS. Um, and I think, you know, again, I think that's probably going to stand for a new and arcade stick. I don't know if that's true. That's how I read it. Um, and Ent is, uh, Ent is about, uh, it's actually named after the Treyans from Lord of the Rings. So that's something I forgot to say last time. You know, there are other things that I wanted to interpret that Ent meant. So you know, it might have sounded like something else to me. But but in an interview, they said it's basically uh, a trail. You know, um, the environment's very important. And, you know, now we know Lord of the Rings is important also for um, the founder of Ent. Um, as a reminder, Ent is from Italy. And... Um, and this this artist, he wants to do this for me. He wants to keep making these. And let's talk about some of the new updates for them. Uh, they have revised. Um, so this one, I'm just going to say right now, I believe 
the buttons I have on these are going to be uh, basically the second, the, the first revision, the second edition of their uh, of their push buttons, um, which I, I've, I've met a lot of people, even when I went to New York, I met uh, Red Comet of Akage, and that's uh, both a uh, Gundam and Initial D reference. Uh, they were awesome. It was wonderful meeting them. They told me their favorite push buttons right now are the end push buttons. They just love it. They love how it feels. They love how it sounds. They love how it makes them feel when they play them. So I have to give that shout out there. Um, and I said that I'm expecting these to be the second edition of the buttons. There is going to be a um, third. Uh, there's, there's been another revision. And I believe now they've, and it's a different direction, they kind of go for a smoother surface. So the ones that, that I've used before and the ones I will use now are going to have more of the textured top, and I love that. I like the textured top. But let's see what those smooth ones are like and uh, when those come out. Another update is they now have uh, an eSports partnership. Um, is it Blitz? Um, but their eSports partnership, I'll, I'll comment on it, and I'll, I need to put that in the description because it's really important to acknowledge their people that are working with them. They, they have an eSports team that they're supporting with a line of controllers, and so that's awesome. Also, um, this stick will use the... Um, the Valeno uh, board, like just like the one that I received. Um, and those are awesome. They're really fast. They're good. Um, that said, nowadays, uh, Ent has gone back to putting in the Universal Fight Boards in their in their controllers. And I think this is, there's a number of reasons, but it just kind of assures the consumer, the buyer, that this is going to work on pretty much everything. Um, you know, especially the PS5, right? And it's also just going to, you know, you're going to be able to modify it or get firmware updates the same way. So, you know, and I, and maybe there's a partnership involved because Brooke has been very, very accommodating to the boutique market. Um, so now you, you'll see a Brooks inside in a lot of things. And that's Brooks is may is supporting the arcade controller market. And you have to appreciate that. So I, I don't know the details. It's only my speculation. But I think Brooke is basically has been supporting um, the makers, and that that's a wonderful thing when you have um, when you have these partnerships um, at, with the boutique makers. You know, that, that's wonderful news. That's only a good thing, and and Brooke sees it as key to their future. You know, and Brooke has made, has also expanded their range, but. Something people should know is they should look at the Wingman um, adapters. So, like, if you're using a Valero, and the Valero will work with, like, so many things. But if it doesn't work on certain consoles, there's usually a Brook Wingman adapter for that. So definitely consider all that. Now, if it's not working for you right away, you do need to sometimes update the firmware. I had a friend, um, he actually made um, his own uh, hitbox alternative, his own all buttons controller and he sold them uh on reddit but he was also uh providing wingman adapters to make sure that they would just work for anything that people needed you know? um and one of the key findings there was just sometimes you just got to update the firmware on it through your pc on the wingman adapter and that's all it needs uh sometimes they have a there's like two different types of firmware so you got to check that but if you do that you you get a lot of your problems solved and as somebody who likes to use um, these really beautiful customized controllers, it's really good for you to know that. Then sometimes you don't need to just buy a new controller, you just use the, you just adapt the one you already have. All right, so let's get to the end creation. Sorry for the loud ASMR. I'm gonna tear this open really quick and then we'll get to it. Sorry for the loud noise. Here we go. 
Okay, we've got a black box. We've had this, uh, um, I've been seeing more and more people using uh, basically paper wrapping. Um, that's good. Um, it's environmental, you can recycle it. And yeah, you can see the NEAS Pro Arcade Stick November 2022. So yes, it's been about five months. And uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, and and trust me, I'm going to be playing with this, but right very tonight. But um, I've just had to take time to do a lot of other stuff. So um, I've been discovering the ways of the house husband. That said, I am starting to look for work soon. I will be looking for work. Uh, after I go to Japan, so I'm going to Evo Japan at the end of the month. After that, um, I'll start looking more for more permanent work, um, you know. And so, not going to lie, anybody in the arcade parts industry, I, I wouldn't mind giving it a shot to try to work in this industry. So, um, not doing a hard sell on it, but I think you guys know some of my skill sets. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm looking for anything because uh, it would be fun. But... Um, but, you know, who knows what I end up looking for next month. But I'm just putting it out there in case any opportunities pop up. I'm always surprised when they are. And if people are wondering if I'm curious about it, uh, yeah, I'd love to. Um, I, I'm in the point in my life where I get to try a lot of things. And, uh, and I'm supported enough to where that experimentation should be okay. All right, let's get to the stick. Okay, uh, I'm going to put the phone down because we're going to have to deal with the tag that blocks the opening. Okay. Now, the sad thing is I am the kind of person who hates tearing anything. I, I like to keep it nice and neat, the packaging included. Uh, you shouldn't, I think artists don't care for that kind of stuff, right? I'm not an artist, but I am that type of consumer that likes to keep my con everything nice and neat, you know? I'm going to take this label off carefully, even though I'm pretty sure it was designed to be torn off with pride. But, you know, I'm just crazy like that. The downside is I'm also a guy that collects boxes, and that's why I have too many boxes, and my house is a mess. All right, here we are. So, I just moved the sticker right on here. I, I left it on the side. I was going to put it in the bottom, but I was like, you know, I want to see it from the side, especially when I put this thing on the display or on a shelf or in storage. Okay. All right, so we're gonna open this up. Now, in the past, uh, there was no real packaging aside from the box, but there was beautiful, uh, there was paper that was stuffing it, and there was also the wonderful rice uh, candies. Those were so good. Not rice, they were cream, they were milk candies. Oh, I love them. Those Italian milk candies were amazing. I'm not expecting them this time, but man, I love those things. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, so long overdue note. First, got this. Oh my gosh, that feels cool. All right, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a sticker, so yes, thank you very much. This is the cable we're using. Um, okay, we're using the USB to USB, the normal, so. Forgot if it's a type A or type B. It is zip tight, so I gotta cut that open. Okay, seeing these, there's more. Let's go to the note, even though I see it's more stickers than I love. I love stickers. If you guys are making booty products, I love it when you guys do that. Oh my gosh, and I can tell what that is. That's that's the button remover. That's the tool. Okay. Dear Chan Chai, we hope you'll like um, your NEAS. We We made the joysticks whole, oh my God. So you guys made the whole 35 millimeters wide. Thank you so much. So I can use it for, but we'd like you to give us feedback about, the, okay, about lever compatibility. Yes, I will. There is a good chance we'll split the NEAS into two models. Uh, we do for Japanese levers. Uh, lighter and thinner, and one for Korean. I agree with that. So, and then one for Korean levers, taller, heavier, and thicker. Um, despite that, enjoy the stick. Thanks for your support. You guys always have my support. Thank you so much, Fulvio. Um, you know, you guys mean a lot to me. Enth means a lot to me. And so, I want you guys to keep doing this too. You guys keep innovating. Um, we should talk about 
the spirit of the boutique uh, artist, designer, builder. Um, there's a lot of things they do where they come up with great creativity and they push design forward and they push art forward. Um, sometimes there will be things that they might overlook in their iterative process for like um, that maybe somebody with expertise as a manufacturer might have. But in what I've seen from the boutique makers is they figure it out very quickly and they iterate more upon that. Um, but they contribute even greater to, they contribute greatly to the whole space by making these amazing new products with new solutions, with new ideas, and sometimes just more beautiful ones. And then anything they overlook, they, they often fix quickly. But again, we have to appreciate them. We have to know there's a good place for manufacturing, but there's a really good place for boutique. And um, this has just been such an amazing two year, few years of, uh, of boutique arcade controllers. Like we're just, we're so fortunate right now. Regarding what he says here, this one is designed for the Japanese stick, but he did want to give it the flexibility so that I could put on, you know, flexibility. But there is going to be a future model. I, I intend to support a future model for Korean type levers. Even though I don't primarily use Korean levers, there's a reason that it would be taller and it would be thicker, more dirt, like even, you know, uh, more firm and want to be heavier. And that's because when you're using Korean levers, um, that grommet system and the various throws, like it's going to be heavy movement, heavy action. And to make good use of that, you need like an even more firm and heavy base. And that's what he's talking about, that there will probably be a future Korean version if there's still a demand for Korean levers. But, you know, let's see how Tekken 8 turns out. Let's see how the controls play out in Tekken 8. Um, but Tekken is the biggest scene to use Korean levers, but many scenes, including a lot of 2D scenes, do use Korean levers. And I love the Korean levers. There's so many innovations, so... We'll, we'll make that another topic. Okay, thank you for that letter. I'm so touched. Um, if you're new to my channel, you'll know that I'm more of a podcast type of a personality. I'm more of a person where you can probably sit back and listen while I talk about these things. And I'm going to try to be as informative as I can. And, you know, just give a lot of my ideas and thoughts through the process. So I'm just, it's almost like we're having a conversation while I enjoy and open unbox products. This is the button removal kit. It's really cool. And it also reduces the chance that you're gonna break it. So you can technically call these push button screwdrivers because that's technically what they do. So it's wonderful. Um, and his version feels really good in the hand. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun to make use of. All right, under this protect sheet. Yes, more stickers, got Nth. Ooh, very cool. So this is like a really, classic uh, type of design at a purposefully uh, low resolution. It's great. Um, you know, th this guy is my brother, <laughs> you know? All right, what do we got here? Let me read it before I say what it is. Yeah, so this is also explaining, um, so this is like a schematic for it. And you can put the sticker inside the controller if you want, um, just so that you'll never lose it. And so that's pretty cool. So the Valeno Fighting Board version 1.1.2. Yeah, like I said though, the their newer sticks I think are all partnered with uh, with Brooke, and I think that's a good call. But I do love the, how much time they put and effort they put into into things like the Valeno and the buttons and well everything. Now we've got a schematic, yeah, and sticker form. The NEAS, right? And this is now the NEAS is mostly sold as a clear. I specifically told them I really wanted the black. Um, I know I've already got black controllers, and I will eventually get a clear controller. But I just, this stick, when I saw early versions of it, I, I really wanted it. I, I like the glossy black um, on NES, but I also, but these look gorgeous, look at this. So yeah, and so he's he's got it set to kind of, so you understand it in Xbox, Switch, and Nintendo terms. Um, yeah, good schematic. Ooh. Yeah. Then we got our signature. Yep. This is the push button. I think this is his logo for the push buttons. So that's awesome. Karen 30s. Love the Karen 30. So and now I've got the version two Karen 30. And I, I'm excited for the new maybe it's a version three or four. But yeah. Alright. 
Oh my gosh, look at the box. Looks so professional. Looks like it's got serial numbers in there now. But they're never going to... I know they will never go fully commercial. This this guy has got a punk spirit. Um, it's probably more hip-hop, but still, he's got a punk spirit in here. And the driving energy at end is definitely not like a conformist energy. Okay, it smells normal. Last time I talked about how it smelled. I have a feeling that it was tobacco, but like a wonderful smelling tobacco. Odd as that might sound. But, uh, but maybe it was, but I loved that smell, even if I'm not a smoker or tobacco user. It's good. Okay, so I've taken this out of the box. Here we go. All right, let's get to this thing. So he's taped it. I'm gonna untape it. He, does, he did sticker it again. And I told you I tend to like to do things nicely. So it's the same sticker as what's on the box. There's a part of me that doesn't want to tear it. That's okay, but to be honest, I recommend people get into it, just tear, you know? Like, it's Christmas, and treat yourself to Christmas. Tear it like it, like it was Christmas. But I, this is not the way I am. But I train my kids to be less attached. The less attached they are, the, be the, the cleaner life will be. I am such a hoarder, and my wife has to put up with me. That's also why my, why my rooms are a mess. I've gotten new shelves in my room and that hasn't helped because I just got more stuff all over. Um, shout out to Jason Hicks. He had to go through a similar thing. Okay, this time I will tear this because there's just no choice, but it will still look good. And at least I have another sticker so that eases my, my feeling. All right, we're back and we're gonna open this thing up. And we're gonna look at how gorgeous this thing is. It is gorgeous. Look at that. So beautiful, this black. I mean, do we wanna call this a piano black, a standard black? You can see the phone. Look at that mirror sheen. This is the shiniest it's ever been because it's a clear black. Um, I think they went for, I don't know plastics, but I think they went for injection molding. We've got the 24s here. Yeah. Oh, and they feel so good on this. Yeah, it feels so good. Okay. All right. Let's move the wrapping paper and get onto the sink. Okay. On the top, we've got torque bolts. Uh, let me I, let me get a tissue. Uh, yeah, we we'll get tissue. Unfortunately, I don't have a microfiber cloth with me today. So I don't have a microfiber cloth. Wow, look at this, holy cow. It is that classic design. Tissue is only gonna do so much. Uh, microfiber cloth is the way to go to get stuff off of your glossy surfaces and to get them looking presentable for, for camera. But cameras will pick up everything nowadays. The cameras of today are amazing. I love this uh, washer. Look at that washer, that texture. Let's see if there's much changes on the nth ball top, because as we remember that there were those. Okay, this is not gonna be perfectly smooth, but it's close, it's close. And we look at these torque bolts. I do like torque bolts. I think they're, I call them torque bolts, but they're basically a hex pattern. And so it's not your normal screwdriver. You do need a specialized screwdriver for them, but they're great because they just, they're so less likely to strip. So less likely to strip. Yeah, that feels like your classic Sanwa. Got your nth. Um, yeah, this is very, pretty much identical. I think maybe not as deep. I think the old one went a little deeper. I could be wrong, you know? Sometimes our impressions fool us like that. Look at that. Gosh, this thing is so gorgeous. Look at the corners, but the inside, we love this little sleek on the inside here. I'm gonna these are, again, it's better to use a microfiber cloth. Get them on Amazon or something, they're great. Love that sound, do you like that sound? This feels so good, it's so comfortable, the press feels really good. Eight buttons on the top. This is the nth layout. Um, 
and look at, see how much, the, what I love about the nth layout, right? Again, they push the buttons up. You have a huge space here for your palm. It feels so good. On your lap, feels fantastic. On the desk, feels fantastic. It's really good. Um, and the good thing about a controller designed for the Japanese levers is they can be short. Uh, they they don't have to be tall, right? If it was a Korean lever, it has to be tall. Like if it's a Korean lever, it'd have to be like this tall, you know, um, to accommodate it. Or a little, like almost that tall. Again, so good, so beautiful. Let's look from the side. Ooh, look at that. You know, this could be Select Start, could be L3R3, right? Isn't that wonderful? This is something that he's added to the design since I got, since a year ago. This, I think he started this in the summer um, because customers were asking for L3 and R3 because of training mode and the functions you have there in recording mode and training modes. So you got L3, R3, you got your select start or share back and uh, you know all the buttons you need. I think I, the only one I'd wonder about maybe then is the touch. Okay, let's look at this. Oh my gosh, this is just, again, one of the most beautiful um, sticks ever and the feeling is so good it is so I love like it's the double layer really matters right then there's like no flex this thing is not flexing on you, you I don't like flexing right um, flexing doesn't happen much but it does happen on some right I, I've used some panels on like the Razer Pantera now the classic Razer Pantera felt fine but if it's if things are not perfect in alignment on the Razer Pantera, you'll get a flex. And that flex, not the best feel. But the Razer Pantera is an amazing stick. Like, almost everybody's Razer Pantera is an amazing stick. So I'm, I'm not uh, knocking on it, but I have felt a flex in using that before. Look at this. Oh, that's another cool part of the double layer. There's double layer here, right? There's a this plastic layer on top and then the texture layer underneath that to make that end look so awesome. Of course, it's upside down for us right now, but look at this. And so you can see, um, yeah, but I love this, right? Aren't we glad, like, we're moving on from, is it USB-B or USB-A? We're moving on from printer cables. And I like that because I don't know how many times I've seen broken USB printer cables, right? Like, after all, they get janky, they get messed up, and you do have to replace them. We're away from that. And look at this. I didn't notice this before. The NEAS has feet. And these feet are very stable. So we don't have to use the pads on these. And I like that. Um, now, some people might prefer... You can see my tummy there. <laughs> it's like a mirror. Some people might prefer pads. Um, I like feet, actually. Um, I use the virtual stick high grade. So this is actually my preference. If, if he does give an option, I would say this is my preference. Um... But on the bottom, look, that is gorgeous. All right, so man, the NES Black is really beautiful. I don't know if he, he kind of indicated that he really didn't want to do these unless people really like, like unless they were like a custom job um, because he really loves the clear. And, and I understand that. The clear, you're going to see something because we are going to open this up. Uh, but now this new design, you can open from the top or the bottom. I'm pretty sure we want to open from the bottom first. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of upgrades to this already. Like just what has already improvements on the, the models that I have, but those of course are still gorgeous and will always have a place. Okay. I don't have my yoga blocks with me. So when I open this, um, it's not going to be, um, we're not going to be able to, uh, it's not going to be like with the yoga blocks, but I'll be right back. I'm going to get my screwdriver set. I use a iFixit set usually when I'm at home. On the go, there's a set that like, I imported from Japan. They're just amazing. I need to find what those are on Amazon to let people know because I know you can buy them on Amazon. I'll be right back. All right, let's see if I got, let's see if I got the right size torque balls. Again, I fix it's uh, kit is wonderful. You can get these at Best Buy. I think you can even get them at Costco, but I'm not sure. Don't don't hold me on that. Um, 
Let's see if this is the size. Always make sure it's a perfect fit. Never, never settle for an off fit. It's not worth it. You're gonna damage your device. You're gonna strip your screws, you know. Okay, that looks like that's the right size. So always make sure it's a perfect fit. Make sure there's not, it's not wiggly. Okay, generally, uh, maybe middle's not always the best, but I'm gonna go for it. I got a tear on this. In my old age, my grip strength is getting worse. Um, I've damaged a lot of soft tissue in my hands and wrists. I can still play. Like, Virtual Fighter is easy. I actually have a harder time with Street Fighter, and it's just because of the lower grip strength that I have. So, and actually because of trigger finger. And that's come from work in the restaurant industry. Um, it's come from a variety of places, but work in the restaurant industry would be one. I hope this is not just the support column, but that I'm unscrewing. Let's see. Now, this thing has got the screws in, up in north, south, east, and west, as opposed to diagonals. Um, these are very firm. Um, there is a complaint with the old um, and with the earlier nth models, and that is that they are um, the earlier nth models. Uh, he kind of just screwed the panels on, and instead of putting um, putting in the proper uh, hole for them. Okay, whoops. It's okay. The magnet can only hold so much. All right. So I usually go opposites. I'm gonna go put the phone back down, one sec. Let's lighten up all these. Yeah, and actually I should've just done that in the beginning. Just just do a quarter turn on the wall, and then you can start loosening them up. All right, you don't want to damage your screw holes. You don't want to give any reason for any kind of stripping to happen. And so if you just loosen all of them first and then take them off, I think that's the better practice. So there, and I broke my rule of opposites because I totally you know, went around the world and forgot to go back. Forgot to fully go around the world. All right, so we're gonna see what's under the hood or under the bottom panel. I'm gonna lift the skirt, I guess. Sorry, sorry if that made anyone cringe. But it's wonderful to be making a video like this again. I'll be making a couple more this week, I hope, this weekend. All right, so let's see what happens when we pop off this. Can we pop it off? Do we have to undo? We might have to actually take the feet off. Do we have to do the feet? I hope not. Give me a moment to grip and see. Oh no. We do have to take the feet off. Okay. Looks like we have to take the feet off. There's a little give there, so I think I have to use a different size torque bolt on the uh, torque screw. I'm not sure what they're called. You can call them hex screws. That's probably what they're, they're actually called. No, nope, that's too big. The one that I'm using should be the correct size then. Really? Am I supposed to open this from the bottom? Is that what it is? I hope I don't strip this one. I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. I'm just removing this, removing the feet, the ones that are into the feet. Let's see if that's what happens or if the feet just come off. So test casing the first one. At least they are color coded so we know. Nope, that was intended. Okay, 
So I'm gonna loosen these up and then I can get back to getting a video. Sorry to keep you guys in the wait. But once you get one off, the rest are become looser. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay. All right, so we're taking off the these. It is a lot of screws, but that's okay because an nth is actually not really meant for you to be, I mean, it gives you all the flexibility you need and the ability to change your buttons, everything else like that, but it doesn't really want to be open that often. It's not really, I, I think like it's, I think the my favorite use case for these is like at home in, in your game room when you're playing with your buds and at offline sessions, you know, I think that's the absolute best case. And these are cases where you're not making that many changes. You just want to, you just want the reliable stick they're going to use and that your friends are going to love and you're going to be playing with pride because they're just the most gorgeous sticks on the market, you know? Um, they are a work of art and yep, there we go. Get that slightly. I'm going to use my elbow to hold this thing because once I unscrew this top one, this thing will come right off. It's slide, gonna slide right off, but the, the holes are, everything is more precise. It's better. Um, I'm not dealing with the issue I had with the, with the previous, with my other two end sticks because, um, because everything was designed to be screwed in and out. Um, and so, you know, he made that improvement. So here's the top panel, we're removing it, or the bottom panel, I'm sorry. So with the feet still firmly on there, pretty stuck on there. So let's, we don't want to mess with that. I don't want to, I don't want this, the feet to come, come off or lose adhesive. It's been autographed because you know, um, this is a very personal product, right? Um, see the buttons, that wiring is just so beautiful. I mean, he's shown it off, but you can just see like, this is how he wants you to use it, right? And um, both uh, both End and Golden Lever have been using these um, connectors that are right angle connectors. I love them, you know? When you take the, I mean, you can change the buttons, but the wiring will still be there. And they're gonna be like, don't undo this wiring. This wiring is making it easier and cleaner for you. So out of the box, the wiring is clean. And it looks so beautiful with, the Valeno board because of this. Look at that, right? It's not like a giant broccoli sprout from the top here that's going all over the place. It is a beautiful organized array that's feeding the lines in a way that looks really clean. And he's done all the clean wiring for you. Um, that is just really gorgeous. And these are the kind of connectors that aren't gonna shoot up, right? Like normally connectors straight up, so that's why the wiring gets all crazy. Instead, with this 90 degree angle, you can really make it nice and neat like that. Of course, we've got our JLF here. It's fantastic, and it's easy to mod without even removing it. Um, I'm probably gonna modify this one, but you know, we'll see. Um, actually, but I, you know, with this, I do like stock uh, Sanwa, um, but I like changing the ball top to like lighter. But I've done other things too. Oh, it's just so clean. Look how beautiful that is. Hot now, I guess, is the wire, but it is hot now. And I love this color. You know, the color wiring, of course, is a must when it comes to the connector. Yeah, so the five pin connector. Make sure you get the right ones in the ground. Yeah. This is good. And this is the support beam. So this creates a lot of stability. This, and I love that they use a star shape. And so obviously this is the thing you'll see on the clear model. But here, this, this is important because this, um, it just, it just makes the structure just so much better. So yeah. Uh, we're not going to remove the top panel, but we can look inside the corners, you know. Looks like my table corners, beautiful corners. So firm, inside so clean. Yeah, everything here, is, this is a wonderful, the NEAS. Thank you so much, Ent. Um, and yeah, let's uh, love how this looks. Let's get a final look at this again. Oh boy, okay, let's take a look at that. This is important.
So when you remove that, this comes off too. Okay. So that, that's why we've got these layers. So you can kind of see that. All right. So that's how the assembly is. I expect it to be the same way on top. That's also what keeps everything lined up in the right way. Um, so it's just nice, you know, it's just doing a lot of good stuff. Tighten up all your parts. So everything is looking fantastic. And um, if you don't mind me screwing it really quick, uh, I'm gonna screw it back in and we're gonna take a nice final look at this amazing stick. And it won't be the final time you guys see it because I'm definitely gonna be using it in places, but um, man, and uh, you did again, this is as beautiful as I, as I had hoped for. And it's just like, man, this, this was the stick I wanted so badly. Thank you for doing this. I know you really wanted me to get the clear and the clear is so beautiful, so beautiful. Um, but I really love this, you know, I'll keep it clean. I'll make it nice. And we're gonna play with it a lot. Uh, I do still play with the others a lot, so. All right, so you can hear me talk while I screw it on really quick. Um, yeah, this is a wonderful experience. And they're never done. They're still working on more. Lately, I've seen them use different layouts too. Um, there's a cool extra button layout that they've used recently. A lot more buttons on top uh they are willing to do what they're willing to listen and hear you out on what you want out of your stick and come up with a solution um i am excited for the korean edition as well but i you know honestly i love these i think most people are going to get something like this because this is just such a beautiful part of the collection and and a lot of uh retro and action gamers are used to um, levers though yes last year after evo a lot of people started getting all button controllers but in my view levers are not going away at all like, not at all um levers are still very popular they're still they still are more intuitive than um all button all button controllers will always have to deal with the that they're not intuitive they're counterintuitive and so yes they are high performance but so are arcade levers um, so arcade levers are not going away, but um, but I love all of them. There's um, a lot of cool stuff being done in the all button controller space, and there's a lot of cool things being done in the WASD space. We'll get into that later, because traditionally I did not like WASD, W-A-S-D. Um, and now there are some things that are happening that are changing my mind about those. But my heart will always be with the arcade levers though. It just feels so good. I play a game where it plays amazing, um, where the game is, Virtua Fighter series is designed, totally designed for, um, it is totally designed for levers. I did this upside down, now we know. Okay, I did it upside down. So, first thing first, uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't line up the support beam. So, that said, let's let's skip that part. I'll fix that after the video. Let's take a nice look at this. Okay, levers are beautiful, wonderful, and still amazing performance. Absolutely amazing performance. I look at this dust washer to remind you how beautiful that is. The nth ball top, how beautiful that is with and um, carrying buttons. You hear that talk. I, I described that sound as a talk talk sound or pock pock sound. And it feels really, really good. I love this texture. The texture might be going away on the newer models. I love this texture, but I am excited to try the smooth ones. You know, I'm gonna love them too. But just the tactility, so good. The, um, see that, how they're textured on here. And then you've got the classic nth design. Um, and it just pops out even more now with this uh, clear mirror-like black. And don't worry, it is definitely black. I'm just in a room with a lot of white, so that's why it's looking gray here. But here we are. Um, take a look at the bottom. Take a look at the side. Again, we've got these buttons right here. I love them. 
buttons over here. Love those two. Look at how beautiful that looks. And then you've got these buttons here. The switch to shut off the function buttons. And you pour it in that beautiful logo with that texture. And I think that's a good final image. Um, end creation just keeps on being amazing. For me, it keeps on being worth inputting from Italy. He is very good about that too. Um, yeah, honestly, you guys have just been amazing. Keep it up and thank you so much. Um, and you know, I, I'm excited for the next one, but this, this is amazing for a lot of people. This is all they need, right? Um, it's just wonderful and a beautiful part of any collection and a beautiful part of any setup. Um, I can't recommend it enough. It's just, it is a work of art that you get to play with. It's got a minimalist design that is just top class. So everyone, thank you so much. You guys have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. And uh, keep on supporting awesome makers like Ent.